Astronomers using ALMA have just confirmed that a distant galaxy, known as Max 04.6Y1, is actually an ultra-luminous infrared galaxy, and it existed only 600 million years after the Big Bang. This galaxy, called simply Y1, sits at a staggering redshift of 8.31, meaning we're seeing it as it was when the universe was less than 5% of its current age. It was first spotted as a bright Lyman break galaxy behind the massive galaxy cluster Max J0416. But new ALMA observations have revealed something much more extreme happening inside it. Using ALMA's high frequency band 9, astronomers measured Y1s dust emission and found that this young galaxy contains incredibly hot dust, about 91 Kelvin, far hotter than typical early galaxies. Its dust mass is around 1.4 million suns, and its infrared luminosity is off the charts, roughly 1 trillion times the luminosity of the sun. That officially makes Y1 a new Lierge, an ultra-luminous infrared galaxy. These are the most intensely star-forming galaxies known, and Y1 is forming stars at an extraordinary rate of about 173 solar masses per year. What's more, only about 14 of those solar masses per year are visible in ultraviolet light. That means most of Y1's star formation is hidden behind thick clouds of dust, invisible to telescopes that rely on UV or optical light. ALMA is one of the few instruments in the world that can see through that veil. The team also detected signs of an outflow, an ionized gas region being pushed out of the galaxy at about 100 kilometers per second. This kind of outflow is typical of intense starburst galaxies and may help shape how galaxies evolve in the early universe. The results suggest that Y1 contains entire populations of stars that previous observations completely missed. Dust and UV-emitting regions may be separated on scales smaller than 650 light-years, meaning most of Y1's real activity has been hidden until now. In short, Y1 is one of the earliest, hottest, dustiest, and most intensely star-forming galaxies ever found. An extreme example of how rapidly galaxies could grow in the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. And discoveries like this are only possible because ALMA can peer into the cosmic dust where early stars are being born.